Hi, this is Jim, your product expert with Some Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure. Uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about uh, battery backup systems and batteries and what battery to use for those systems. Uh, first of all, let's start off with something right off the bat here. Um, I get this question every day. You can't take any kind of battery, whether it's a sealed lead acid battery, a wet cell, a deep cycle, a car battery, you can't use any of those batteries and just kind of connect it to your, your main pump that's in your pit right now to make that a quote unquote battery backup. Doesn't work. Um, no way you're going to get uh, to make that connection first of all. Uh, if you can find a way to do it, uh, you might get that pump to run for maybe 5 or 10 or 15 minutes at the most if you're lucky. Um, but in short, um, those batteries don't have the power to drive an AC powered pump. Uh, amp draw and all that and power required to do that isn't going to do it with a battery. Uh, what you need to do is go with either a 12 volt battery backup system that we carry on our website or a um, auxiliary power system that we also carry on our website. Uh, the latter being the more expensive of the two, but it also means you don't have to put another pump in the pit. It will run that main pump that you have in there. Uh, you basically need to find out what the amp draw is on that pump, uh, basically looking at the running amp drawing on that pump, um, and then find an auxiliary power system to go with that. Uh, we do currently offer the SEC America Pump Sentry uh, backup uh, auxiliary power systems. Um, we've got three units on that that'll handle pumps up to 5 amps, 10 amps, and 15 amps. And that's, again, that's all running amp uh, rating. Um, they would require a minimum of one um, deep cycle battery to connect to that. You can also connect multiple batteries if you want to extend the runtime. The brochure on the website that uh, for each of the product pages for those SEC America Pump Sentry systems will show a formula that you can figure out how long of a runtime you would get based on the runtime or based on the amp draw your pump, what amp hour the battery you're doing, uh, a couple other calculations that are in there that are, that are included. But that'll give you an idea of what you're going to get on there. So that's one system you can go with. It, and again, it's an auxiliary power system. It's an inverter. Basically inverts DC power to AC power. But it takes some type of device to do that. And that's going to cost you some money. Um, on the low end, on that uh, smallest SEC America system we have, that, that we have right now, I think, for about $599. Um, and that, that does not include the battery. Probably looking about another two and a half to $300 for a battery. So just under $1,000 for that kind of system. Um, if you can afford it and that's the kind of system you want, they do a great job. They work well. Again, it'll back up your main pump. So if you have a power outage, uh, that pump will still be running for you. Now, in the event that you have a power outage and that main pump goes out, then you're kind of up the creek without a paddle there. So you want to go with probably a battery backup system. It'll be a 12-volt powered system. We carry those on our website at all, as well at sumppumpsdirect.com. Um, a variety of different types of systems. Um, again, they run off of a 12 volt battery, either a wet, wet cell like you see down here in the bottom or a sealed lead acid battery, as you see over here. My little scribble over here. I'm not real good writing, uh, real good at writing on these uh, uh, PDF files, but best I can do. Um, so this, the wet cell battery is basically a car battery. It's going to have cells in there that you have to fill up with battery acid. Um, initially, when you first get the, the battery, um, you would fill it with that acid. Uh, it's a six quart box of acid that'll fill each of those cells and that six quarts will fit in that battery. Um, once you fill it with the acid, that's the only time you fill it. Thereafter, if those cells start um, evaporating and they will over time, you are gonna, you're gonna refill that with or add distilled water or demineralized water to bring those cells up to the proper level. Um, at that point, it'll have the proper pH levels and everything needed. Um, and with co chemical composition for charging the cells and the plates in the battery. So, again, it's the only time you need to add that acid. Um, the Pro Series batteries and the Basin Watchdog batteries that we sell on the wet cells, we sell those and ship those dry. Uh, they just have a much better shelf life that way, and then you get the acid with it. We sell the acid as a convenience for you. Uh, it is hazardous material, so shipping cost is high in there, hence the, the higher cost for shipping that. We do also offer these batteries by themselves without the acid at a lower cost. And you can always go out to a local hardware store or big box store and get the acid there for about 25 or 30 bucks and maybe so save yourself a little money there. 
Now, the sea of lead acid batteries or the maintenance-free or the AGM batteries, as they're called, um, the main difference between the two is really that there's really no maintenance required on the maintenance-free SLA sealed lead acid batteries. Um, they are sealed. There's uh, nothing to fill, um, but you should still check terminals on either one of these batteries over time to make sure there's no corrosion on them. Um, they're both going to have about the same life span, <clears throat> life expectancy on them. Um, but again, you're paying a little bit of a premium, so you're not watching that battery as much as you are on the wet cell. So hopefully that answers some questions for you on batteries and what batteries you're going to use on what systems. Uh, if you have any other questions or ideas for Q&A videos, give me a call, shoot me an email, uh, check out our website, sumpumpsdirect.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, you all have a great day. Take care.